You know, digital transformation is a critical and evolving issue and topic, especially in the context of Africa, where various regions are experiencing rapid uh, technological advancements. Uh, let's start with you talking about your company, Arid, and then talk to us about your view of the current status of uh, digital literacy in Africa and how it has evolved in the last uh, decade. Yeah, uh, so briefly, um Digital innovation is a, is a huge topic, right? Uh, but uh, give you guys a, a brief background. Um, I, I grew up in, in Burundi, moved to the US in 96, spent 17 years here. 2013, I decided to move back. Um, I used to go on vacation uh, from time to time on the, in Rwanda and Burundi, and I started seeing the changes from 2009 to 2012. I really realized the future was there. So. Sold, I had, a, I had a company in Atlanta, um, sold it, sold everything I had, and moved, invested. We developed a technology. At that time, it was a smart solar kiosk. And uh, we sold that tech about two years ago, and now we're working in uh, building distributed cloud infrastructure. So since COVID, um, digitization has become the norm now. Uh, the whole continent is focusing uh, on how to digitize their services, so pretty much the whole ecosystem from health, education, government, uh, Rwanda has really taken the lead on, on that aspect. But what we've seen is digitization has been focused strictly on the internet. When you talk about storage, computing power, there's a huge gap on that aspect, number one. Number two, we tend to copy and paste solution from the West to the continent, which is a big, big issue because um, and that's why I'm, I'm very passionate about innovation. We, we, we need to look inward, basically. Uh, and uh, the ecosystem in, in Africa, and we'll talk a little bit more about it, it's totally different. But there's huge, huge opportunity when you talk about digitization. I think uh, I'll mention a few, but uh, uh, bridging the digital gap, uh, creating digital economy. Uh, we operate in low-income communities. Uh, we've seen how the youth is adopting you know, digital tools, uh, digital application very quickly, but infrastructure is really what the laying ground that needs to be developed. So that's what I will, I will talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so 